Hello everyone, this is Bala Venkatesh Badri Narayanan from University of Florida. In this presentation, I will give an overview of the project titled Analysis and Determination of BER for BPSK using O of DM and the effect of frequency offset on intercarrier interference. Let me start off by defining modulation. Modulation is a process of conveying a message inside another signal that can be physically transmitted. The signal that carries the other signal is called the carrier signal and the signal that is being conveyed is called the message signal. The device that performs the operation of modulation is called the modulator and the device that performs the inverse of modulation is called the demodulator. There are many kinds of modulation such as phase modulation, quadrature amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, phase shift keying, etc. This project will analyze a few of them in detail and follow it with MATLAB simulations. The first form of modulation we are going to look at is phase shift keying. In phase shift keying, the phase is changed to convey the data signal. A simple form of PSK is the binary phase shift keying in which two phases are separated by 180 degrees. It has the highest noise and distortion tolerance and is the most robust of all PSK methods. One of the main drawbacks of BPSK is that it can only modulate one bit per symbol. This figure represents the constellation diagram for a BPSK. The equations shown here are used for the implementation of BPSK. The first equation will result in two phases, 0 and pi. The next two equations are for binary 0 and binary 1 respectively. The bit error rate equation is shown here. PB is the probability of error, EB is the energy per bit, and N0 is the noise power spectral density. Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing OFDM. It is a technique which enables the transmission of multiple carrier signals in the same communication medium by dividing it into a series of smaller non-overlapping frequency bands, each of which can carry a separate signal. In OFDM, the communication medium is divided in such a way that the divisions are orthogonal. This gives us advantages such as high spectral efficiency, robust against narrow band interference, and low sensitivity to synchronization errors. This figure shows the transmitter side of the OFDM system. This figure shows the receiver side of the OFDM system. The mathematical representation of the OFDM system is shown here. Here, in this equation, there are n subcarriers, m alternative symbols modulating each subcarrier, and xk data symbols. In order to prevent intersymbol interference, a guard of length, Tg, is inserted before the OFDM system. This imposes a cyclic prefix in the transmitted signal. The new signal obtained is shown in the second equation. Now we move on to quadrature amplitude modulation. In QAM, we can do both digital and analog modulation. In digital modulation, two bit streams are conveyed by modulating the amplitudes of two carrier signals, whereas in analog modulation, two message signals are conveyed. In QAM, the amplitude of two waves in quadrature are modulated to represent the data signal. This figure shows the transmitter of an ideal QAM system. The equation below shows the transmitter side signal. This figure shows the receiver of an ideal QAM system. The equation represents the transmitted signal at the receiver end. Now we move on to minimum shift K. MSK is a form of digital modulation which makes use of frequency shift keying. In MSK, the modulation takes place in continuous phase. The bits encoded in MSK alternate between quadrature components where there is a delay of half of the symbol period for each component. Each bit is used as a half sinusoid which leads to a signal that has constant modulus. The difference between the lower and higher frequency is the same as half the bit rate. The figure shows the mapping of MSK in continuous phase.
the mathematical representation of MSK is shown in the equation where even and odd information are encoded by AI of T and AQ of T respectively. By using trigonometric manipulation, we get the second equation, which is a simplified version of the first one. The bit error rate for MSK is represented by the equation PE equal to Q function of square root of 2 alpha EB by N naught. Now we move on to intercarrier interference. Intercarrier interference is caused by Doppler shift in OFDM. In an OFDM receiver, the signal received is multiplied with a correlated bank and then integrated over the period of time. This is expressed by the equation in the slide. Here, M can take values from 0 to K minus 1. Usually, in a wireless communication system, the transmitted signal is upconverted in a transmission side and downconverted in the receiver side by tuning to the same carrier frequency before demodulation. This figure shows the process of up-down conversion. In an ideal system, there is no offset, but due to device impairments, there will be a frequency offset represented by the equation f delta equal to f dx minus f rx. The frequency offset will have an effect on the intercarrier interference and hence the signal to noise margin. The base band without including noise is represented by the equation y of t is equal to s of t into e power j into 2, power 2 pi f delta t. Now let us move on to MATLAB simulation. The first program is DPSK using OFDM. This is the program developed to generate the bit error probability curve for BPSK using OFDM modulation. From the curve, we see that the theoretical and simulated values are similar. Here is a closer look at the bit error probability curve developed from the BPSK using OFDM program. Next, we have the quadrature amplitude modulation program, which will find the bit error rate for QAM. This is the program developed to calculate the bit error rate of the QAM. Let us now take a closer look at the curve generated. This is the bit error probability curve generated by the QAM program. This curve also shows that the theoretical and the simulated values are very close together. Next, we move on to the minimum shift keying program where the bit error rate is calculated for MSK. This is the program developed to generate the bit error probability curve for MSK. Now, let us take a closer look at this graph. This is the bit error probability curve for MSK. We can see that the theoretical and simulated values are very close to each other. Moreover, the values for MSK are exactly the same as those for BPSK. The last program is developed to calculate the effect of frequency offset on intercarrier interference. This is the program developed to calculate SNR loss due to frequency offset in OFDM modulation. Now, let us take a closer look at this graph. From the graph, we can see that frequency offset has a significant impact on the error rate. Some of the conclusions we can arrive at from the simulations are that the theoretical values and simulated values are very close together. Moreover, BPSK and MSK have the exact same bit error probability curves. The QAM 
has a slightly different uh, probability curve but is almost the same. We can also see that the frequency offset has a significant effect on the error rate and hence measures should be taken to avoid the frequency offset. In the future, more programs can be developed to calculate the bit error rate of other modulation techniques. I would like to conclude by thanking Dr. Wu for giving me this opportunity to do the project. Thanks for watching.